All right, what's up, guys? I just wanted to make a quick video on the uh, Usyk and Breedis fight, okay? Uh, if you see my video of the uh, World Super Series tournament, the Cruiserweight tournament, okay, um, you would know that I, I totally underestimated Breedis, okay? I didn't think he had a chance at all to beat Usyk, okay? Uh, Breedis, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, you know, the first time I seen him fight was the uh, Mike Perez fight. Okay, and I wasn't impressed with him there. Um, I've seen Usyk fight a few times. So, I thought Usyk was going to make easy work with him. Okay, uh, I remember there were a few guys that commented on my video and said, Listen, you're you're clearly underestimated Breedis. He's a lot better than you think. You know, and maybe I should have watched more of his fights. But I, I'm, you know, I'm admitting that I, I didn't see him fight other than the Mike Perez fight. And um, the fight was very close. I watched the fight maybe a few hours after the fight because I seen a lot of the YouTube uploaders were, you know, I saw the titles and a lot of them were saying robbery and this like that. I did. I think Hatman was the only video I actually watched um, where he thought Breedis won. Okay. Um. I had a hard time scoring the fight, you know, because now I'm watching the fight and scoring it, you know, I'm sitting here scoring it because I know it was a controversial decision. You know, I know a lot of people are going back and forth and now I'm watching it like, okay, I'm watching it for real. You know, I'm trying to score a fight and I had a very hard time scoring a fight because Breedis, I was impressed with his job, uh, his accuracy. All right. Um, his punch selection was much better than Usyk, in my opinion, and his body shots were were great. All right, um, so I was impressed with that with him. Usyk, I was very impressed with his jab. Okay, uh, I was impressed with his activity. Okay, but I thought he was throwing a lot of punches out there, and missing. I didn't see you know, the uh, the movement that I normally would see with him. You know, I think Breedis did kind of neutralize him, all right? His activity was still up, but I don't think it was as effective as it usually is when we see Usyk fight, all right? This is the first time I've seen Usyk fight, and he looked very beatable to me, okay? Uh, the problem is with Breedis is that he didn't keep it up, you know? Uh, there were points in the rounds where... You know, I thought he was winning the first minute or so, and then he didn't really do much for the last two minutes of the of the round. And I was more impressed with what he was doing, but I just didn't get enough from him. Just the rounds that I thought he lost. All right, whereas Usyk, you know, regardless of him missing a lot or regardless of Breedis, you know, winning or you know being in control, Usyk was still fighting. You know, and that's the problem that I had with him. Um, so basically, I was scoring a fight, and I think by the ninth round, I already had three rounds where I scored it a draw, and I was like, okay, um, this ain't gonna work for me, you know, because this is a messy. It was a messy scorecard. I think, uh, I think Usyk still won. All right, I think he did enough to win. I just wasn't getting enough from Breedis, you know. Um, I think Usyk, the way I scored it, had it like, what, five to four with three rounds that I scored a draw. And I mean, when I say I scored a draw, I watched it that specific round again because I couldn't come up with a winner and I still couldn't come up with a winner, you know. So, um I, I couldn't really, you know, I mean, I, I see the controversy. I see why. It, it really depends on what you're more impressed with. It's, 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 it's kind of similar to Triple G and Canelo, you know, where people were either more impressed with Triple G's ability to, you know, his activity and his aggressiveness, um, whereas Canelo was more consistent or more accurate with his shots. It's similar to that, all right? I'm not saying it's the exact same fight, but it's, it's a lot of it's similarities there. It really depends on what you like, man. You know, I, I, I can't... If they pick Breedis, I I wouldn't have been mad, you know? Um, but Usyk looked very beatable, 
you know. Now, I don't know if the winner of Dortico's and Gassiev is going to be able to do what Breedis was doing, okay. Um, but I can see Usyk being neutralized. You know, now I see it. Now I see the flaws. You know, I didn't really see him before, but now I see it. So, anyway, uh, I thought it was a close fight. I still edged it slightly for Usyk. But if I watch it again, I could have a different opinion. You know, it's just, I'm not going to watch it again. It was just, you know, when you're scoring the fight and you got like three rounds even, it's like, I, I don't even like doing that, you know? So it was a tough, it was a tough fight. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to give you my opinion. I definitely uh, underestimated Breed, Breedis, you know? Um, can't wait for the next fight between Dortico's and Gassiev. Uh, let me know what you guys uh, think on a fight, you know, drop your comments on who you think won and what you scored it, you know, if you did do a scorecard, what did you score it? Um, but Usyk looks a little beatable now. I just don't know if the other two could do what was working for Breedis, you know, I don't know if they can do that. Anyway, uh, and you know what? He wasn't doing anything crazy. It's just that it was working, you know, I think his timing, and his punch selection was was very good, you know, and the body punching, you know, very good. He seemed to land like almost every time he threw something. And that's what it looked like at times, you know, it seemed like every time he just knew where Usyk was going to be and what he was going to do. You know, it it seemed like he he, he had a very good game plan, you know, and I, I think he kind of disrupted Usyk's rhythm that he normally has when he fights other guys. All right. So anyway, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm going to drop a few videos today, all right? Peace.